Okay, guys, welcome back to NQIS. Steve, well, I bought myself the EWR F708 VTX the other day, and I purchased it for the sole reason of it having a 25 milliwatt output, as well as being able to switch to 200 and 500. And when I got this VTX home the other day, I discovered it also had smart audio. So, smart audio, I thought to myself, well, I'm going to need an OSD. The SP Racing board, the F3 that I have in this little 4-inch, doesn't have an OSD on it. So I dug around in the drawers and I found a minimum OSD. So, this is a video on how you connect a minimum OSD to a smart audio VTX and how you connect all of that to a soft serial. All right, I hope you get something out of it. Here we go. Okay, just pause this image if you need a quick refresher on how to connect the FTDI adapter to the OSD. So that you do config H. In config H, you want to actually define, so delete the two forward slashes for minimum OSD. If you're on a micro minimum OSD, use that one instead, the one below it. Once you've edited that bit, okay, so once you've edited those two places, you want to come down and edit the beta flight. So just read the instructions, uncomment this if you are using latest beta flight version 3.1 and onwards, which we are. You can only do this with 3.16 and upwards anyway. I recommend that you have 3.2 flashed previously. Once you've defined what um, FC GUIs you're using, you then come down and define it as a rotorcraft. So uncomment the two forward slashes once again there for rotorcraft. Then you come down here, and the, one of the most important things you're going to need to do is define Canvas support. Okay, so this is definitely needed. You need to have this. Once you've done that, save, of course. Okay, and then you would compile and upload to board. Once you've done that, this is an image of the SPF3 racing board, the clone that I'm using, and it's just indicating where I've wired in the OSD and pay particular note to uh, pin 6 where I have the VTX PWM wire. So this is in Betaflight. You want to go to configuration. And in configuration, if you are using a soft serial, you're going to want to enable soft serial, save and reboot. Once you've saved and rebooted, you also want to then do telemetry, save and reboot. Then in ports, I have it on soft serial one. Soft serial one, the only thing you have to enable is here is the TBS smart audio. And as, as you see, I have on UART2 is my OSD is sitting on UART2. Remember always to have your MSP connected for that. Otherwise, it doesn't talk to it. Make sure that you've got your serial still, your serial RX still switched on, which you should have anyway. And then in soft serial one, like I've said, the only thing you need to have is your TBS smart audio enabled. Then save and reboot. Okay, so to get into your smart audio area, you uh, half throttle, you left your and you full pitch and then once you are in you go into features in the features you go to VTX SA for smart audio 
the TR is for the tramps. In here you can do your band. As you can see I'm flicking through the band. You've got your two boss cams and then you've got your fat shark. And then you've got your race and then back to boss cam. You can see the frequency is changing. Note up the very top line under smart audio it's giving you your actual settings that you're on and it changes as you do it. As you can see there, I'm on band A, channel 4, my frequency is 5805, and I'm doing 25 watts. And here is the power area, you go into the power area, and you can cycle through the power settings. These are not quite right because you actually get 25, 200, and 600 with this particular VTX. So it does set it to 25, 200, and 600 in the three settings. Here we've gone into the SA configuration. But you see that you've got pit mode. Pit mode doesn't actually work on this VTX, so it's blanked out there. Not sure what OP model means. But we can go flicking through the rest of it. It's just a simple matter of using your joystick up and down with pitch. And then to the right with uh, your roll to set which one you want. So there we can see that I've actually got that VTX with Smart Audio working on the Soft Serial, Soft Serial 1, remembering that you want to connect it to transmit on your, um, on your flight controller. You don't go to RX, you go to TX on the Soft Serial UART. I'm just quickly flick through a few more settings here as we have a look through. So there you go. All of that's working. Go into your flight controller. See the version of beta flight that you have on there. See the target of the board, which was SP Racing. guys so there it is a $20 Australian dollars $20 smart audio VTX that's um, switchable between powers